so this is how we can show the same thing which i told you so this source of light will emit the light in all the directions surrounding to it now within a particular time t each wave will travel the same distance now you have to join all those points where these points they are in the same phase so if i join the locus of all of them so you will get the wave front now according to huygens wave theory again every point on that wave front will act as a secondary source of light it will emit the light in further direction so you will get the next wave front again you can draw the next likewise you can draw infinite number of wave fronts now what is that wave normal so the wave normal is perpendicular to wave front so if you just draw that normal so obviously that normal you will find that so which is perpendicular to that wave front that we will call it as a wave front yeah so this is how we can just draw it or the construction of wave front how we are going to draw it exactly so let's say this is the first wave front yeah so let's say these are the three points now which we have got it now we know that obviously velocity is equals to distance upon time so d is equals to c into t so you have to draw the circle of radius that is a d is equals to c into t this is the first circle this is the second circle this is the third circle now just draw the tangent to all of them and you will get the next wave front similarly if you want to get the next wave front so these are the next point let's say again you can draw the next wave front by drawing the another circle likewise the same procedure you will get the next wave front yeah again join those all those draw the tangent you will get the next wave front so when the wave front is at a very far distance from that source almost that plane wave front it get converted into plane wave front yeah so when it travels a very large distance it will get converted into plane wave front so this is nothing but the plane wave front which i had drawn over here and these are nothing but the spherical wave front so this is your common center of that both the wave front which i had drawn over here so this is how you can draw those wave fronts so that is also very important to represent the light either in the form of wave front or either you can represent that in the form of your wave normal also 